Ah, uh, come on! Hey, check out how we make this lock. So this lock is one side of the door, and this is on the other side of the door. And when you put the two doors together, it looks like it's a lock right straight across. So we're gonna take a look at how we make this out of wood. Basically, I've just taken some scrap pieces of plywood, and I've pre-measured all my pieces to know exactly the sizes I wanted, and I'm just uh, basically uh, putting them on with a brad nailer, nail gun, and I'm making sure that, I think that for realistic purposes, that the thickness of this is the thickness of this right here. So that when this is all painted, it actually looks like one solid piece of metal. That's a bracket holding in this um, piece right here, which is what's locking the jail cell doors from one side to the other. So you can see that it looks like that when it's installed on two panels and when the panels are together. But this one is attached to one panel. This one's attached to the other panel. But you can see that it looks like it's bolting it right across. The bolts for this project were fairly simple too. Uh, we glued them onto the wood using Elmer's wood glue. As I took a piece of two by two and I just cut it into like a stop sign and I did that using a table saw. So all I did was take the blade, put it on an angle and I just cut it many times on each side. You can see, just cut each side off, leaving a space here, and I got that. And then I take the material, and I cut it on a chop saw. And I'm not really measuring, I'm just going for like the average thickness, you know, maybe quarter inch, and I'm cutting a whole bunch of them. And then shaving all the burrs off the side, and that's how we're making our bolts. Instead of doing, um uh, two coats of like one of a regular monster mud, which you can find in one of our videos. We did a little tutorial how to do it. We'll put a link into here. Uh, we made the, the monster mud an orange. So instead of doing like your traditional gray, you can tint uh, monster mud any color you want to. So we did it this bright orange, and then we do uh, several techniques after this to get the rust looking effect. So this is just your base coat to make it look uh, textured and um, orange. So what's it, there's paint, uh, orange paint in here, drywall mix, and sand to get that grittiness. This is Jason Melissa's torture tool. They're $5.99, you can buy them at hauntityourselfproductionssales.com. <laughs> says right here, the new website, new link right here, bottom of the description. Comes with 53 nails, it's good for combing your hair, and. But what else? What else is it good for? Uh, making nice textures here on the styrofoam. It's good for making textures, and once you put the heat gun on it, it'll sort of look like this. Once we go to the finished product here, you'll get sort of like looks where sand fell out on the stones. Sweet. Torture tool. Shipping and handling not included. Jason wants to make torture tools now, I don't know. Really? Yeah.